Parents are usually worried about their children's safety, especially when it comes to newborns. To feel safe and cared for, babies want regular attention, love, and affection. Parents also purchase baby monitors, surveillance cameras, strollers, and car seats to ensure their child's safety. To keep their children safe, parents want the most reliable goods available. One parent had put in a lot of effort to ensure that their child was always safe, especially at night. For their daughter, they purchased a comfy, high-quality baby crib. However, after some time passed, they spotted something odd in her chamber. Every night, their 15-month-old infant would disappear from her crib and be found walking around the house the next morning. Her parents installed a security camera in her room since they knew she was too little to get out of her cot on her own. They couldn't find words to describe what they saw on the display. Chris and Nina Cardinal were an ordinary Arizona couple who had recently welcomed their first child, Chloe, into the world. They were smitten with the girl from the first minute they saw her. The Cardinals promised to do everything possible to keep her safe. Unfortunately, something unexplainable occurred one night in their daughter's bedroom. It wasn't easy for them to raise a newborn. Chloe, the baby, would cry a lot and keep her parents awake at night. They couldn't tell if she was in pain, hungry, or simply in need of some attention. The pair adored their baby and made every effort to keep her safe at all times. However, they had no control over what transpired one night. Their main concern was Chloe's safety. To keep their kids safe at night, the Cardinals bought a baby monitor and a cozy baby cradle with a safety guard. The couple assumed that now that they'd acquired all the required goods for their daughter's bedroom, nothing bad could happen. But they were mistaken. The first few months whizzed by. The Cardinals would place their daughter in her crib and use the baby monitor to keep an eye on her. Chloe would frequently wake them up sobbing, but after a while she began sleeping through the night. The Cardinals were relieved because their daughter seemed to be doing well now that she wasn't crying as much. But then they noticed something strange about her behavior. The couple went to bed one night after putting Chloe to sleep. She didn't wake them up in the middle of the night. Chris and Nina were able to sleep for the first time in a long time. However, what the pair observed the next morning astounded them. Nina went to Chloe's room the next morning to see how she was doing. When the mom saw her daughter's cot was empty and there was no evidence of the girl in the room, she couldn't believe her eyes. Nina began to feel frightened right away. What happened to her daughter? Nina dashed up to Chris and broke the heartbreaking news. They began exploring the house for Chloe and calling her name together. They couldn't figure out how she managed to get out of her cot and open the bedroom door when she was so young. Fearful ideas began to enter their minds. Was their baby girl kidnapped? To say the least, Chris and Nina were taken aback. They looked in every room upstairs for their daughter, but she was nowhere to be found. Nina saw something that made her hair stand on end when she got downstairs. Her daughter was sitting on the living room floor. She appeared to be at ease. Nina felt comforted, but she was also perplexed by her daughter's actions. How'd she get here all by herself? She inquired about Chloe's ability to get out of her crib, unlock her bedroom door, and walk downstairs on her own. Chloe was deafeningly quiet. She continued strolling around the room, giggling. They got the impression that she knew something they didn't. The pair was taken aback and perplexed. Nina and Chris couldn't understand how their 15-month-old daughter girl had traveled such a long distance by herself. Finally, they decided to put the bizarre experience behind them and trust that their daughter would never escape from the crib again. They had no idea what was going to happen next. Chris and Nina put their daughter back in the crib the next night, hoping she wouldn't escape this time. Unfortunately, their worst dread had come true a few hours later. Nina and Chris awoke to the sound of their daughter singing and dancing about the house a few hours later. Chloe had gotten out of her room again. Cardinals were taken aback. Nina double-checked the infant's crib gates for any damage. In Chloe's chamber, everything seemed normal. She knew Chloe wouldn't be able to get out of the crib by herself because she was still so young. She could only get away with the assistance of others. Despite the Cardinal's best attempts, their daughter continued to emerge from her room every night. Every night, Chloe would escape from her crib and stroll around the house, singing and playing with her toys, waking up her parents. Nina and Chris were going insane. Every night, Chloe had to figure out a way to get out of her room. Nina and Chris, on the other hand, began to lose sleep as well. They were well aware that leaving their daughter alone in the house late at night wasn't a good idea. They needed to devise a strategy for resolving this perplexing dilemma. They worked out a technique to find out what was really going on in her bedroom at night rather quickly. Chris and Nina made a decision to buy a baby camera and place it in Chloe's room. It was the only way they could figure out how their daughter got out of the crib each night. They positioned the camera on top of the dresser, facing their daughter's bed, 
and braced themselves for the truth to emerge. Chloe ran around the house, playing with her toys and singing loudly, waking up the Cardinals once more in the middle of the night. Nina and Chris were exhausted and went to the baby camera to see what happened. The outcome was not at all what they had anticipated. The pair were enthralled and stunned when they watched the recording. The door to Chloe's room opened at 6 a.m., and two of their family dogs dashed up to the girl's crib and began waking her up. What happened next, though, was even more incredible. Two of the couple's golden retrievers were seen dashing in and out of Chloe's room with delight in the footage. They were lightly tapping and licking the girl's face. Chloe eagerly hopped out of the cot and followed her animal pails into the hallway as she was fully awake. Nina and Chris were given an explanation for her daughter's actions. She had assistance all along, as it turned out. Instead of napping, Chloe would follow the four-legged buddies around the house and play with her toys. The Cardinals were relieved because it wasn't just a prank with the help of her family pets. Her daughter had been protected the entire time. When a Cincinnati couple bought a baby monitor for their 10-month-old daughter, they ran into a slightly different issue. The device kept emitting a man's voice, which the mother kept hearing. Worst of all, she'd never heard this voice. Raising a little child is a difficult task. As soon as their daughter was born, the young Cincinnati couple discovered this. During their first several months, there were many sleepless nights and trips to the doctor. What concerned them the most, however, was something far more serious. Her parents noticed an immediate difference in her conduct a few days after the little girl was brought home from the hospital. Despite being fed minutes before, she'd start wailing as soon as she was left alone in her room. They had no idea how much worse things were about to get. The worried parents initially assumed that their child was in discomfort. As a result, they decided to take her to the doctor to see what was wrong. The doctor told the couple that the baby was healthy and that she was unlikely to be in pain after a physical examination. The relieved parents went home, hoping that the doctor was correct. They couldn't help but notice something odd about their daughter, though. When they took their daughter to the doctor that day, they observed a rapid change in her demeanor. She was weeping hysterically in her room, but when they took her outdoors, she stopped. During the doctor's appointment, the child stayed quiet and even smiled. She didn't appear to be in any discomfort. The doctor's words, on the other hand, brought relief to the parents. Their baby girl was in good health, and they didn't have any medical problems. They even asked some of their friends who had little children, and it turns out they had the same issue at first. The pair chose to let things go and focus on their new role as parents. But what happened a few months later astounded them completely. The following week, the pair observed a modest improvement. The baby was no longer wailing as much. She even managed to sleep through the night in her cot without waking up one night. The parents concluded that their infant was having difficulty adjusting to being on her own, which was why she was crying so much. Regrettably, they were mistaken. That was just the start. Unfortunately, the baby was never able to acclimate to sleeping alone in her room. She'd cry in her room from time to time, sometimes for the entire night. The parents were fatigued and despondent. Then they had a brilliant idea. The parents were curious as to what was causing their child's unusual conduct. They couldn't tell if there was something upsetting the girl in her room or if she simply didn't want to sleep alone. They decided to try an experiment the next night. What they discovered astounded them. They decided to separate their daughter from the rest of the family for the night. They merely moved the crib and left the baby monitor and her toys behind. The parents were curious to see if their infant might start crying in another room. What transpired that night astounded them. The girl slept the entire night and didn't cry once, much to their astonishment. The parents were taken aback because it had been a long time since their daughter had slept soundly at night. They thought it was just a coincidence at first, so they decided to keep her in the same room for another night to study her behavior. After being moved to a different room, the infant slept soundly for the second, third, and fourth nights in a row. The parents were taken aback. How did she stop sobbing after being transported to a different location? What was going on was beyond the couple's comprehension. When they moved the infant to a new room, she immediately calmed down. They understood that locking the girl in the other room for the rest of her life wouldn't solve the problem. Something in her bedroom had clearly been upsetting her and disrupting her sleep. The worried parents decided to visit her room one night when the infant was sleeping in another room. Her room was thoroughly investigated by her parents, but nothing unusual was discovered. The room was cozy and peaceful. What could be bothering her? They had a million questions running through their heads. The parents were growing increasingly perplexed by their daughter's actions. They even speculated that her bedroom was haunted and that she was seeing things they couldn't. Regrettably, the truth was even worse. After hearing unusual noises in the baby monitor, a couple returned their child to her previous room. 
The parents were startled awake by a strange voice saying, Wake up, baby. They dialed 911 and learned that the room had been hacked. The baby monitor of a couple had been hacked by their next-door neighbor's adolescent son. Everything that happened in the girl's room was seen and audible to the teen. He was also able to interrupt the baby's slumber by talking to her through to the vice. The hacker was identified by the police. Thanks for watching. Please like and share the video in social networks. We'll be right back to you as fast as we can.